Hi, this is Anna Carey, the lead visual art critic from The Daily Cow. Last week, I checked out the In Between show at Old Crow Tattooing Gallery in Oakland. The show features the works of Nick Mann, Brett Flanagan, Craig Rogers, and Dan Bortz. They work together, but never in a gallery setting, so this is definitely a big deal for them, and I thought the final project was really pretty incredible. You walk into the gallery from the street, and immediately you enter a state of shock to see how they have transformed the space. Each artist takes over his own corner of the gallery. The first thing I saw when I walked in was this giant pink animal painted by Nick Mann. He adds all these distressed wood elements onto its body, and in the center there's a painting of a green goddess vomiting white. Definitely a little bit off-putting, but he paints it intricately and colorfully. Opposite this pink mo monster, Bortz uses his outer space design aesthetic on paintings, collages, and also on fabrics. A lot of the fabrics were draped up and down the walls of the gallery with lights illuminating them from behind. Next to his work is Flanagan, who paints mostly on wood using geometric patterns. He has this white ladder set up in the back and you can climb up it, like the viewers can climb, climb up it and see a painting that he has situated way up high. He definitely wants you, the viewer, to interact with the spiritual quality of his works and of all the artist's pieces in the space. Rogers has a different style that focuses on earth tones, found objects, and drawings of nature. Unlike the other artists, he doesn't use as much color, but he still has that same chilled out, but definitely out there point of view. Although their works were obviously all extremely different from one another, they were particularly impactful when viewed together. All these guys are pretty young and it's clearly that they're advocating for a lifestyle based on traveling, chilling out, living outside the box, and just overall being really creative. I definitely recommend heading out there to see the show. Thank you and this has been Anna Carey reporting from the Daily Cow.